Hello again, everybody. Mental Fox here. Thank you for joining me again on this playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition. We're here at Skyhold, and I like to think that we are done with all of the talking with our party members business, and maybe we could get down to some other business. Uh, more exciting stuff like exploring uh, Thetis, all these new areas that have opened up now that we have uh, ventured into this part of the game. Uh, first thing I do want to do, though, is I want to go to the war room and uh, check in with my council because um, they have all finished their little tasks that I have given to them and uh, so we'll just go check with these guys get an update on their current missions and then send them off on other missions it's important to keep them busy I think Okay, um, I think everybody was in Ferelden. Shadows Ever Denerim report ready. Leliana Inquisitor. Well, that was bracing. A pitched battle with evil mages disguised as kitchen servants. Fireballs flying and swords flashing. It brings back old times. I won't be anything coming out of those kitchens for a while, let me tell you. I wonder if they were going to poison me. Nasty little cultists. Anyhow, I am grateful for the Inquisition's help. We wouldn't have found them without you, King Alastair Theron. Gained some influence and we gained a medallion of service. I really wish I could go back and see the previous report, like... Because I don't, I don't remember what happened here, you know what I'm saying? Um, apparently... I don't know, I don't remember what was happening in the story. I actually have to go back to one of my old videos and read what this said when I assigned the mission to her to find out what this was all about. So I, I, I kind of find that to be a shortcoming here. Um, anyway, we'll go ahead and accept that report. Rumors of Maleficarum. A field report from the Wending Wood delivered to Commander Cullen. We found several murdered mages just off the road. If the victims were blood mages, there were no obvious signs, no cuts on the palms or the like, but it's difficult to say. The victims appear to have been stabbed. It's possible Maleficarum are responsible, using their fellows to power some ritual. It's also possible these were former circle mages killed by ordinary men over hearsay. We will continue sweeps of the Winding Wood to ensure safe passage for future travelers. Knight Captain Brioni. So I believe this mission was, uh, there were rumors of blood mages on this, um, passage. Uh, and we were requested to go take care of them. Huh. Oh, that operate. Oh, uh, new, that opens up some new operations, false accusations, and we also got a corrupting rune. Oh, cool. We have a rune now. All right. I wanted one of those. And then we have another one up here. Strike a bargain with merchant princes. A bundle of documents at least 50 pages thick explains the trade agreement the Inquisition has entered into with the merchant princes of Antiva. Josephine has attached a note. Inquisitor. I am more than satisfied with the agreement we reached with the merchant princes. Here is a duplicate if you wish to review it. I would put aside three days and two dozen candles. Ambassador Montelier. Uh, we got some gold, we got some influence for that one. So this was a mission where we, well, just like it says, strike a bargain with Merchant Princes. Um, but apparently these guys will take advantage of you if you're not careful, so that's why I sent Josephine. And if she's satisfied, I'm satisfied. Way to go, Josephine. Way to go, team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rah, rah, rah. Uh, okay, so we still have a lot of stuff going on here. Um, one that I do want to do is this Truth or Dare. Uh, when I read this last time, I was confused, so I went back... And again, like I was just saying a moment ago, I wish there was some way I could go back and see previous missions. Because uh, there's a series of missions that start with Truth or Dare. And I went back and looked at my old videos uh, to where I got the first Truth or Dare mission. And if I remember correctly, um, somebody was spreading rumors that uh, Divine Justinia was not actually dead. And that um, Leliana and Cassandra had... Um, faked her death and and caused all the trouble at the um, at the chantry at Justinia's uh, request. Uh, so we've been trying to hunt down who has been spreading these rumors. 
And I believe that when I read this again, it'll make a little bit more sense with in that light. Um, well, where are these two? Oh, they're just not participating. Madam Ambassador, words cannot express my gratitude for your gracious hospitality at Skyhold. After the events at Haven, one can hardly go anywhere in the Empire without hearing the word Inquisition. I shall be glad to have some facts to add to the wild rumors. I am as, as grieved as you to hear of the vicious slander being spread. Justinia V was the best of us. It pains me to think that others would pollute her legacy in such a manner. I travel to Valforé soon. I shall ensure my cousins know the truth of this matter. Sincerely, Comte Renal de Moyer. So they're talking about the truth of what really happened. Justinian V really is dead, and uh, the Inquisition really is on the up and up. We're not really like behind some kind of big conspiracy. So uh, what we need Josephine to do uh, now that he's here, meaning Comte Renal de Moyer, we should talk to the nobles he's been seen with and let them all know. Um, let them all know that he's here. Let them all know the truth. I'm not really sure what that what she means by that, but this requires two and a half hours. So we'll go ahead and send her out let on that. Uh, let's see. The Arl of Redcliffe. False accusations. Search for the hack writer. Mediate between Ostwick noble families. I don't know if it matters what order I do these things in. Oh, this is one that only Cullen can do. Madam Ambassador, please allow me to convey my deepest sympathies over the losses at Haven. It was surely Andraste's will that guided anyone out of that calamity alive. In light of this tragedy, I would pledge material support to the Inquisition, but unfortunately my own lands have suffered heavy damages thanks to warfare between the mages and Templars. I can, however, tell you that there was a very profitable mine on the western border of the Red Cliff Arling, which the Templars cut off. I do not know the present condition of the mine, but if you wish to reclaim it, I will be glad to let you take from it whatever you can between now and Wintersend. Sincerely, Arl Tegan Garen. Well, isn't that nice? Cullen says, I know the mine he's talking about. We should deploy troops at once. I agree. Go ahead, do that. Inquisitor. Yeah, that's me. Uh, let's see. We need to give Leliana something to do. False accusations. Um, hmm. This is written to Cullen, but he's he's just not participating in this mission. So the little lock right here means that he's just not a candidate for this mission, and the little hourglass means that she's busy on another mission. So we couldn't send Cullen on this anyway. Cullen, your concerns regarding the lack of conclusive evidence found in the Wending Wood incident were well placed. Rumors of blood magic drew out our Templars as intended, it seems. Some mages say our men were responsible for the murders, more Templar zealots persecuting the innocent. What's worse, another murder was reported shortly after our people left. Lady Dahlia claims the victim was her daughter. Not a mage at all, although it's rumored she sympathized with their plight. Witnesses say a Templar sigil was found nearby. After the events in Kirkwall and the fighting in the Hinterlands, people fear extremists on both sides. If word spreads that we've lost control of the Templars, as the Chantry did before us, we may lose support from the nobility and Aberenthine. Or worse, Denerim, Leliana. Well, Leliana, why don't you go take care of that for me? My agents will infiltrate the mage group, spreading the rumors. Do it to it, girl. Okay, so uh, all of our War Council members are busy. And um, what that means for us is we need to decide where to go next. What part of the map to open up next? We have uh, this one here. Um, I guess that's what that we have here. Find the Warden. Hawk has revealed that Corypheus can influence the minds of Grey Wardens. If the Darkspawn brings them under his sway, he'll command a legion of highly skilled warriors. The Inquisition must hunt down Hawk's Grey Warden ally hiding in Crestwood to learn about the other Warden's plans. No one has traveled to or from Crestwood since the breach, and Leliana will send her fastest agents to discover what disaster has rendered it silent. That's not a bad mission to go on. Um, we might, we might do that. Power cost eight. I, I just want to take a look at these and, uh, kind of decide which one I want to do. We have, uh, a couple more places over here that could be opened up. We've got, um, investigate the Western approach, which also, which also costs eight. And wicked eyes and wicked hearts, which costs 30. Oh my. Investigate the Western approach. 
Uh, Commander Cullen, scouts are reporting a number of travelers entering the western approach. Surprising, since the place is a blighted desert with no trade routes. More surprising, no one is leaving. It bears investigating. Knight Captain Ryland. Uh, he says, I recommend immediate deployment of troops to secure a position in the western approach. So that's another thing we could do here. And then we've got this one here, which may well be... I'm going to actually back out of here completely. Um, and I'll show you why here in just a moment. I want to look at my journal. So we're looking at the journal. Um... So the Western Approach, this is, uh, yeah, so we just looked at this one. An unusually high number of travelers have been reported moving into the Western Approach, a blighted region in Western Orle, all but devoid of life. So we could do that one. Uh, was Exalted Plains the other one I saw? Oh, wow, actually, if we... The Western Approach. The desolate badlands known as the Western Approach are as massive as they are barren. Bordered to the west by steppes and crawling with monsters, the Approach is a place from which few explorers return and most avoid. The Grey Warden Fortress Adamant sits on the edge of the Great Chasm, oh, on a Great Chasm, on the Approach's southern reaches, one of the few remaining signs that the greatest battles of the Second Blight were fought here. Okay, well, that's a little bit about the Western Approach. I knew you were wondering, so I went ahead and read that. Exalted Plains. The Exalted Plains are stepped in con all steeped in conflict. Centuries ago, the Elves of the Dales made their last stand here. More recently, the Plains played host to some of the most heated conflicts of the Elysian Civil War. Somehow, despite, despite ages of unrest, the lands the Elves call Durthavir and retain a fragile beauty. Silence on the Plains, Leliana is concerned about a lack of information coming out of the Exalted Plains after both Gaspard and Selene's troops retreated to the respective camps. There were rumblings of desertions, and since then only silence. Both Leliana and Colin agree that whatever is going on here warrants further investigation. So those are the two that we just took a look at. The Exalted Plains one, the Western Approach one. Um, and then the other one is what? Which one is it? Is it an Inquisitor's Path? Yeah, so I don't want to do that one yet. I don't want to do the, either of these. Um, yeah, I don't want to do either of those. So I'm going to either do Exalted Plains or I'm going to do Western Approach. Yeah, let's go. Uh, this is weird though. Hissing Waste says go to the war table. I didn't see that on the war table. And the Pretty Luan. I didn't see that on the war table either. Neither did I see Emerald Graves. I don't know if I just missed them or what. Ooh, Cassandra approves of something. Blah, 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 blah. All right, I'm going to go right back into this room. Yeah, see, I only see... I think I only see... Three of the... I guess maybe... Oh, okay. Okay, I guess I was just thinking that these ones with these rifts over top of them were. We could also go here. Any news on rifts beyond reach of the Inquisition? Yes. And it is not good. Okay. Yeah, we've got this Exalted Plains one. We've got Liberate Empire de Lyon. Oh gosh, which one do I want to do? There's too many choices. I don't know what to do. I do know I don't want to do that one. Western Approach. The Western Approach doesn't really sound all that interesting to me. Because uh, it's a desert. Um, the Exalted Plains. This is the one where the, we're looking for spies. Right? Colin, our spies looked into the breakdown of contact between Val Royo and Imperial Army forces in the Dales. Troops on both sides agreed to cease hostilities, then retreated to their camps to await the outcome of peace talks. What occurred after the withdrawal is a mystery. The last communique from Gaspard's marshal reported a rash of desertions. After that, silence. I agree that this warrants further investigation. Do what you will, and my agents will lend support. He says... Can you what we discussed Dude. earlier, Ambassador? I found the money. The Inquisition will compensate the families of those we lost at Haven. Thank All right. You. Okay, stop interrupting me. We can march soldiers into the Exalted Plains and position scouts in strategic areas. If lines of communication are down, we must be prepared for anything. Um, I tell you what, I'm, 
I'm sorry if, the, if you find this annoying. Um, there is another thing in my journal that I want to look at real quick, so bear with me for just a moment. Uh, memories of the Gray. I need to find something in Western Approach, and I need to find something in Empire du Lyon. This one here in Fallow Meyer is behind a locked door that I can't open yet. So here's a vote for Empire du Lyon and a vote for Western Approach. And then we've also got uh, these, Western Approach and Exotic Plains. And here it just doesn't tell. So, you know, I'm going to go, I think I'm going to do Western Approach because if I go to Western Approach, I could find the Circle Tome for Vivienne. And if I go to Western Approach, I could find some artifacts for um, Blackwall. That's how I'm deciding where to go next. Whether that's the smart way to go or not, I don't know, but that's, uh, that's, that's, that's my game plan. That's my game plan. If you have a different game plan, let me know in the comments.